Good morning. So doing a little staycation. Going to be staying actually in the loop. I'm at the London house. I've always wanted to stay here. I've seen the rooftop, so I've hung out there a few different times over the summer. It's absolutely beautiful. They have lovely views up and down the Chicago River. It's beautiful, a lovely view. And this is my first time actually staying here as a guest. So we have a lovely little breakfast this morning. I've just had a little bit of coffee to get started. But yeah, I love it. It's so good. I ordered like a yogurt parfait and this thing is serious. Like I make cute little yogurt bowls, but I'm gonna have to step it up because this looks just too delicious. All right, all done with breakfast. That was that was a lot. That was a pretty big fruit and granola bowl with the with the Greek yogurts. All right, so I'm all finished with breakfast. I'm ready to get started. This is my first time actually vlogging, so I'm super excited. I'm a little nervous. Should be interesting. Apologies in advance if things are a little weird. I'm not sure I can bust out like my normal camera in all of the places that I want to get some pictures. I know I can't later today at the Nutcracker. We're not allowed to record there, obviously, at the ballet. So I will do like maybe a little mix of iPhone and the real camera. Crossing our fingers, hoping it ends up looking okay. Um, <laughs> I'm excited, it should be fun. We'll see how this goes. Let me know if you guys enjoy some of the vlogging or if you prefer like the more studio pieces. There are gonna be mostly studio ones just because A, the weather is kind of weird and B, it's just what I'm more used to and I'm not generally a vlogger, but if it's fun and you enjoy coming along with me on these journeys, please let me know in the comments and we'll see about adding at least like a little bit of that in the future. Cause it is, well, okay, it's my first time trying it, but it looks like fun. I think we're gonna have a good time. So yeah, uh, let me know and I will get ready for tea. We're heading over to tea at the Langham. It's kind of fancy. You get like some, you get like a little pot of tea, you get some little snacks. You get to, like, I think you're paying for the real estate. Like the area is beautiful. You get a nice little table, like to hang out with the ladies, you get a glass of sparkling wine. So a little bit of bubbles. Should be nice. There's gonna be four of us. So it's a good sized group. And I should probably uh, start getting ready. <laughs> but yeah, it's been fun and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I just made it over to the Langham. I'm a little early, so I thought I would take the time to check in. I have not done tea at the Langham before, so I'm super excited. The last time I did tea around Christmas time was um, at the Walnut Room at Marshall Fields. If you know, you know. So <laughs> that's an indication. It's been a little while, so I'm really looking forward to it. A little bit of girls time. We've got like hotel, we're hanging out. Someone brought some wine from Napa, so we'll be indulging in that a little later. Yeah, I uh, just wanted to check in. Hopefully we'll get some little cute little pictures of tea. I know, I mean, it's tea, right? So you should have like little snacks. You should have little like finger sandwiches or something. Like there are expectations. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys later. Okay, so we have my outfit of the day. This is for the Nutcracker, so I guess day isn't entirely accurate. <laughs> We're trying out one of the Maybelline, the 24 hour lipsticks. If you haven't seen that, I did on I think day three of Vlogmas, like a drugstore red lip try on. So this is, I mean, it's, it makes some claims. <laughs> 24 hours of coverage, so we'll see. So we're doing that and I'm just, I love this thing. It kind of makes like a little bit of noise. It's super pretty. And then for my pants, I just picked these up. They're basically like bell bottom flare pants, but they're also just like leggings. So they're the most comfortable things in the world. They also look really cute when you walk like cause they're so flowy. So they make a bit of more dramatic impression. So they're a ton of fun. 
We'll be using these at the ballet. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the Nutcracker. I haven't seen that in a while. And let's see, it's about time. I gotta go, I gotta meet up with the other girls. See you in a little bit. All right, so the show just finished. It was so good. If you're in Chicago at all during the month of December, I highly recommend checking out the Joffrey, the Joffrey Ballet version of the Nutcracker. It's so cute. It's like a fresh take on it. They do like a World's Fair theme. So it's very Chicago. It's a little more local. It's a lot of fun. There's a couple of numbers in there that are definitely not something you'd expect out of the Nutcracker. And um, they're, they're a little risque. Well, okay, one of them is, and it is delightful. We had such a good time, and we're gonna go hang out at the Emerald Loop, get some get some food, and you know, have a drink, get something to bring back to the hotel room, and we'll all hang out back there. I'll see you guys a little later. Okay, so we made it to the end of the night, back at the room. I think the lipstick held up really well. I still like it. Just doesn't. It just it doesn't come off. I don't know. I ate a salad. I mean, come on, the salad had like goat cheese candied walnuts, the like poppy seed dressing, raspberries, pears, um, some grilled chicken. So it was like a big serious salad. Dressing was on it and we're looking good. Uh, we may have also had fried pickles. Um, <laughs> but yeah, foods like that will usually kind of destroy lipstick, but this has held up really well. I mean, it's obviously not perfect, but for the end of an evening, like I will take it. This did an excellent job. So I will link that down below, the Maybelline Color Stay. I mean, it hasn't been 24 hours. They claim 24 hours of wear. <laughs> but I have no intention of staying awake for 24 hours to find out if that's gonna happen. We're going to wash our face. We're gonna do a little skincare, call it a night. Yeah, it was such a lovely evening. I got to hang out a little bit in the city. Got to do tea at the Langham, which was delightful. The savory dishes were so delicious. I've never had Wagyu beef jerky. That's what it was. I keep trying to call it Wagyu bacon, but it was Wagyu beef jerky on top of the little pastry puff. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So anyway, I probably could have done with another round of savory because it was just, that's my preference. It was so good. The macaroon that looked like a little reindeer. Oh my gosh, it was so darling. It was just the cutest little thing. It was very sugary, like it was a sugary macaroon with frosting on top of it, plus the little chocolate antlers. Anyway, it was so cute, super good. We had a lovely time, lots of fun hanging out with my friends, seeing the city. It's been a little while since I've really gotten to hang out downtown, downtown. But the Christmas season is always a lovely time to do that. All the greenery is nice and fresh still, because it's been you know pretty cold, so it's kept it in good condition. And yeah, I think I will wash up, take out the contact lenses, maybe like do a little bit of reading and call it a night. But yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you guys later. Bye.